This is question 18. Here I'm given the diagram which shows the part of the curve with equation y equals f of x. And what I'm asked to do is I'm asked to write down the coordinates of the points where the graph of y equals f of x minus 2 crosses the x-axis. So in order to do this, what I'm going to use is a little trick. Okay, and it's this trick just here. When I am transforming a graph, I can follow this set of rules, which is a nice little trick which allows me to answer these questions quite easily. So what I've got is y equals f of x minus 2. The first thing that I need to do is I need to identify where has the change taken place. So the change has taken place inside the bracket because it's f of x minus 2. That minus 2 is happening inside the bracket. That means that we're going to change the x coordinate. And how we are going to change that is we're going to do the inverse. We're going to do the inverse of minus 2, which would be to add 2. So at the moment, the coordinates are the points where the graph crosses the x-axis. At the moment, those coordinates are at 0, 0, and at 4, 0. So I'm going to be, because it's inside the bracket, I'm going to be changing the x coordinate, so the number at the beginning of the coordinate, and I'm going to be doing the inverse, the inverse of minus 2. So I'm going to be adding 2 to each of these coordinates. So 0, 0 becomes 2, 0. And 4, 0 becomes 6, 0. Uh, part 2, we're asked to write down the coordinates of the point where the graph of y equals f of x minus 2 crosses the y-axis. Now if we have a little think about what we've just done here, what we've just said is that all of our coordinates are going to shift across 2 on the x-axis. So all of those coordinates are moving along by 2. So at the moment, the graph is cutting through the y-axis at 0, 0. Which means that if this graph is moving along, all of these points are moving along by 2, that means to find out what the coordinate is going to be for the where the graph of y equals f of x minus 2 is going to cut through the y-axis, then that is simply going to be, and again, just thinking about all of these coordinates shifting along by 2, we can see that that means that it is going to be that coordinate there is going to be moved along 2, and that is going to give us our new y-intercept. And so that coordinate there, we can say that is going to be the new um, the new y-intercept is going to be 0, 4. On part B, I'm asked to draw the um, sketch the graph of y equals f of x plus 2. Now what I can see here is that this is a change which has taken place outside of the bracket. So we're dealing with this part of our little trick. So changing outside of the bracket, this affects the y coordinates and we're going to do exactly what it says. So that means that all of our y coordinates, we're going to take all of our y coordinates. So for example, this coordinate here is 2 minus 2. And what we are going to do is we are going to add 2 to that y coordinate because we're doing exactly what it says. It's outside the bracket. We're going to change the y coordinate and we're going to do what it says. It's telling us to add 2 to it. So that new coordinate is going to become 2, 0. It's going to go up to there. This coordinate here is 0, 0. That will shift up to that point there. This coordinate at the moment is 4, 0. That will go up to there. And so what our graph is going to look like, it's going to look a little bit like so. So it's going to have a new minimum point at um, at 2, 0. Uh, and then it's going to pass through the y-axis at 0, 2. We're going to have another coordinate at 4, 2. 
um, and so it will look a little bit like what I've just drawn there. Obviously, you'll be able to draw it a little bit neater.